This week, the Eastman's Hunting TV crew is headed to South Central Montana for a general season public land hunt for rutting mule deer bucks. We got this buck up here. He's quite a long ways away. He's on clear up on the top there. So we're gonna have a pretty good hike. He's a good buck though. Big back forks, good fronts. Really nice buck. They don't really get much better than that. Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. All signs indicate that the mule deer rut is just about to hit full swing, and Adam has high hopes for finding a trophy class buck. Well, we just got up here, got camp set up this afternoon. It's about three o'clock now. We ain't in here but maybe a mile or two, and we already found our first buck. He's up at the head of that drainage. Um, he's not very big, maybe 150, but you can definitely tell that um, the rut is coming because he's got does on the mind. Uh, he's walking around, down, leaving does and walking up towards does. And, uh, but not a bad buck, we're just going to kind of sit here and watch and, and see what happens. We got up here on the side of this bench. That buck is bedded up there about 800 yards. He's, uh, he's only a three on one side. Decently old buck, but uh, we're only a couple hours in, so we'll uh, keep glassing him over and then we'll uh, push on before dark. Although they continued searching, the small three-point was the only buck that showed himself before dark. But with a few inches of snow in the overnight forecast, the guys are hoping that things will pick up in the morning. After a fairly uneventful first evening of hunting, the guys have made it back into camp. With the temperature dropping and some snowy weather headed their way, they waste no time firing up the wood stove and heating up a warm meal before settling in for the night. Got some good old home cooking going. <clears throat> the following morning, they unzip the tent to find a few inches of fresh snow ideal conditions for spotting a rutting buck. Holy smokes. I got a giant. Giant. No joke, come here. We got this buck up here. He's quite a long ways away. He's on clear up on the top there. So we're gonna have a pretty good hike if we uh, if we go after him. We're kind of waiting to see what he's um, what he's gonna do. We think he kind of sees us already. So um, we're just gonna kind of hang tight here and wait for him to make his move. But he's a good buck though. Big back forks, good fronts. Really nice buck for a, you know public land general season buck. They don't really get much better than that. After a few minutes, the buck eventually disappeared over the top, and Adam decided to make his move. Well, we're about halfway up. 
and uh, we got a little, one more knob between us. We think he's going to the west, but we're not sure. So we're gonna go down to this last one and go up and over one more, and, and hopefully he's on the other side. I think we got the ridge picked out that they're on. It's gonna be probably a little bit more than a mile to them, and we're gonna have to cross this big knife ridge. And uh, when we get up to the top, we're gonna follow the finger down and hopefully watch them come out. Hopefully this works. Otherwise, we'll have got a good uh, workout today. Bucks went not that way, that way. Which is technically could be a good thing because there goes one right there. Doe right there. Oh, coming at us. Coming at us. Yeah. Right no, she's going away. She's going away, yeah. they weren't far from where they expected to find the buck, Adam decided to get set up, just in case he was the next to show. No, here they come, here they come, here they come. There's a buck. This buck never stopped long enough for Adam to get a shot off, and they were forced to watch the buck trot off for the second time that day. Dude, that is a toad. I wasn't steady. Fortunately, the buck was so focused on his doe, he never spooked. So they were hoping that if they hustle, they'll be able to catch up with the buck for a third and final time.
see that? He's just sitting on that ridge. Get on this rock up here. On this rock, on this rock. Where's he at? He's on that ridge. Ah, uh, he just ducked. He's gonna come out. Right by that tree. There he is. That's a big deer, dude. It's a huge deer. That's a huge deer. How hard did we have to work for that buck? Good lord, he just tried to evade us and evade us, and I thought it was over for a couple of minutes there, and then it came back together again. And Montana, white out, general season. Came up here, it's towards the end of the season. Um, it's a week before Thanksgiving, and uh, we chased this buck all day. We started this this morning with a good hike in here all the way up, actually just right over here. And we ended up killing him not, you know, a couple hundred yards away from where he, we uh, first, saw him. first saw him. So he stuck to this area, but we had to hike a extremely long ways to get to him. He, or he worked us. He, was, he didn't get that big for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That's a good, good job, man. That's a smoking buck. Although it was dark, by the time Adam finally walked up on his buck, there was no trouble seeing that he'd killed a tremendous trophy, especially considering that it was on public land during a general season hunt. What a buck. Holy cow. What a giant. Look at those forks. Got a couple stickers. Beautiful. Holy cow. Yeah, we knew this buck had great forks, but man, they really don't get much better than that. He's got real deep force, long beams, good eye guards. Definitely just a great public land buck. I mean, on a general season tag, I could not be happier. It's supposed to uh, get cold tonight, down probably. Uh, we've heard to negative three. We're definitely gonna get the uh, stove going when we get back. We'll probably have to take turns tonight keeping it warm. Again, thanks to my good buddy, our Montana field editor, Jordan Brashears, for coming on over and helping us out on this hunt. Uh, definitely wouldn't have had a, as much luck as we did, I think, if it had it not been for him. So um, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. Until next time, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. 